Hello guys, welcome back to Algorithms Made Easy. We will now go through the day 9 problem from the May Lead Coding Challenge. Given a positive integer num, write a function which returns true if num is a perfect square, else false. Since 16 is a perfect square of 4, we return true. For second example, as 14 is not a perfect square, we return false. We will use divide and conquer approach for this problem. We will initialize variable left to 1 and right to num and loop till left is less than or equal to right. We will find the mid of left and right. If its square is equal to num, we return true. If its square is less than num, we update left to mid plus 1, else we update right to mid minus 1. Let's start with first example. Initially, left will be 1, right will be 16. We will check the looping condition. Since left is less than or equal to right, we move ahead with the first iteration. We will calculate the mid. Now we will check if its square is equal to num. As it is not, we will move to next step. Also the square is not less than num. So we will move to an else part and update right to mid minus 1. We will again check the looping condition for iteration 2. As it is true, we move ahead. We will calculate the mid. Now we will check if its square is equal to num. As it is equal, we will return true. Moving on to example 2, initially left will be 1 and right will be 14. We will check the looping condition. Since it is true, we move ahead with our first iteration. We will calculate the mid. Now we will check if its square is equal to num. As it is not equal, we will move to next step. Also, the square is not less than num. So we will move to the else part and update right to mid minus 1. We will check the looping condition. Since it is true, we move ahead with second iteration. We will calculate the mid. Now we will check if its square is equal to num. As it is not, we will move to next step. Also the square is not less than num. So we will move to the else part and update right to 3. Again we will check the looping condition and move ahead. We will calculate the mid. Now we will check if its square is equal to num. We will check if the square is less than num. As 4 is less than 14, we will update the left to mid plus 1. Again, since the looping condition is satisfied, we will move ahead and find mid. As square of mid is not equal to num, we will check if it is less than num. As it is true, we will update the left with mid plus 1 that is 4. As the looping condition fails, we will return false. Here is the actual code snippet for the method. Also, check the link to the Java code in the description below. As it is a divide and conquer algorithm, its time complexity will be of log n. The space complexity here will be O of 1. Thanks for watching the video. Check out link to the Java code in the description below. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Check out my other videos for more interview problems. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. And also, if you want me to make a video on one of your problem statements, do comment.